Good morning. Welcome to Freedom Song, the current constitutional app.com, continuing legal education. Welcome to the Boone Tavern Hotel, one of my very favorites, especially when Evan takes care of you. Well, on with the show. This continuing education is the continue, continuing education I need to uh, do the work I want to do. I'm admitted to practice law since 1978. I am licensed in the Eastern District of Texas in Mississippi in the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals, United States Court of Appeals, and admitted to the bar of the United States Supreme Court. Well, la la dee da. <laughs> it's of no use unless you do something good with it. So, part of the program's purpose is to teach folks that they can contribute meaningfully to uh, defending and establishing liberty in America, even though um, they're not trained to do so. So you will notice there's a, a extreme lack of slickness. We strive for integrity and content instead of presentation. The current Constitutional Applications Project was begun in 2002, yes, at Tyler Junior College. In Texas, every student must take a course that features the United States Constitution. And I had the privilege of teaching as an adjunct instructor, American Government 2305. After we learned the Constitution, the students were invited in lieu of an exam to participate in um, testing the parameters of liberty in America, privacy, um, freedom of religion, speech, association, and they did wonderfully. Not everyone uh, did participate in the program, but you will see the ones who did. Everyone who is featured in Freedom Song uh, gave a release, signed a release for publication. Parents whose child died in alleged state custody not only gave a release for publication, but asked that it be publicized as widely as possible. And so this one is from Michaela Hill. 